Hello, my name is Eli Thomas. I'm Wolf Clan Onondaga Haudenosaunee. I've been doing artwork since I was four years old. In the ninth grade, I uh, came up with the idea of landscape imagery where the images are subtle to complement the landscape. And uh, this is a picture where, of all the pictures I've done in my whole life, this picture stands out as being the only picture of a dream I dreamt. Okay, so I'm dreaming and all of a sudden in the dream I see wolves underneath the branches and I see wolves, the birds are eyes for wolves in the leaves as I'm, as I'm walking and I knew where I am so I spread the branches aside and I see myself in the dream throwing tobacco into the fire. And as I threw, soon as I threw the tobacco in, a cold wind comes up my back and goes out in front of me. And now all birds are flying. I have, when I throw that tobacco in the fire, I have two feathers, water's the hair, stone is the shoulder, and the face. Trees the arm and the hand with a pipe from the mouth to the fire. And the leaders of the nations around the central fire, the water is their hair. And the clan mothers on the side here, the water is their hair. And they represent all the nations, but they're there for the wolf. When I throw that tobacco into the fire, my nieces and nephews are up here in the rocks. And a white wolf and a black wolf start howling toward them. There's a wolf underneath a leaf that, uh, a branch that comes up and a wolf underneath a, a branch that comes up. There's a wolf here. And the birds are eyes for wolves in, in the leaves here. Wolf here, the leaf is the, the bird is the eye. The wolf here, the bird is the eye. And this person here, he's, his mouth, his nose, his eye, he's Eel Clan Onondaga. His name is Tadadaho. He's overlooking the waterfall. And he's the one person that gives the Grand Council of Onondaga for the great laws of peace. My children would come over this rock, my oldest son and my two younger daughters, and they would be calling out my name, but they would stop when you hear the wolves howling. And they would see me, the fire and me, so they would disappear coming to greet me. And as they're going to greet me, I start staring at the sun and I could see above this cloud, there's a person looking down at me. And the, and the sun is framing that person. And it and the cloud appears to be like a canoe in the sky world. And that's when I woke up from my dream and I said, I'm gonna paint that. So I, I made the painting and a lot of people have been telling me that wasn't a dream, but it's a vision. And being a vision, we need visions that show, like traditionally we are looking at all the decisions we're making today are going to affect the seventh generation. So let us think very carefully about what we're doing. If we're making things so that the water is, is, is good for the seventh generation, the, the air, the soil, all the things around us are going to be going good. But there's a corporation that is wanting to store gas at um, under Seneca Lake and to me that's trouble. We need to see that the gas-free Seneca will continue in a way that this will not happen. You can visit them on Facebook and you can learn more about my art and culture by the um, 
elithomas.art.etsy.com. And uh, I think that's about it. That's my website. And uh, I think that's about it. Thank you very much for your cooperation.